Hello everyone, so this video is the second half of the Good Friend Emma and Manny series I started a while back. Um, if you wanted to see part one, click up here. Uh, yeah, so right now we're going to be focusing on Manny. Manny, the Filipina bombshell with the upbeat personality. Manny, like Emma, is outspoken and she's there for her friends when she can and she's known to also call out Emma on her bullshit too. Like when she told Emma she couldn't kiss that guy in the school play because of SCD. He's sick. What are you gonna do out there? I'm Emma. I play the part of Mina. If you have any conscience at all, you will not kiss Dracula. Emma! And, you know, Manny confronted Emma on being a bad friend to Liberty when Emma wanted to get back with Chris because she found out that Chris and Liberty had a thing going on. Ew. So Manny called her out on her bullshit. You're embarrassed? You wouldn't be? What are people gonna think of me if Chris goes out with Liberty next? Oh, shit! That's, that's the meanest thing I've ever heard you say. Many also blessed Emma when she ruined her mother's wedding when Emma told Snake about the baby and also possibly about the abortion. I was like, Emma, you fucking stupid? But whatever. She Emma's a whole mess, but Didn't Manny I called her on in it. Did the same thing last night? I did what I felt was right. Yesterday you freaked because I talked to Sean. What you did was so much worse. Well, gee, Manny, thanks for the support. What a best friend you are. Guys. Hey, 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 ladies, ladies. <laughs> Now, Manny, just like Emma, has also been a very dependable friend. Manny was there for Emma when she was slut shamed by Chris with her activities with Jay. Um, she rallied all of her girls together to do like a whole Nothing. girls weekend. How about the girls and I come over and we'll have the girliest spa weekend ever. Zero testosterone. When Manny found out that Snake had leukemia, she was by Emma's side. Home's not too good right now, okay? Is it the baby? Are your, are your parents fighting? Snake is sick and it might be bad. But they're just doing tests. There might be nothing wrong at all, right? Yeah, he's gonna be fine, Em. She's on the floor. She's dead. We know she's wow, dead. Wow, wow. And of course, the biggest I got your back friend moment was when um, Manny sounded the alarms when Emma met with a predator. Okay, y'all remember the episode? It was a pilot episode too. This is a really good episode. Like, actually there were two episodes. This is really good episodes. Um, but Emma thought she met a boy online, met up with him in person. Turns out he was a predator. And um, Manny at first was like, yo, don't meet up with this guy. Have a bad feeling. You know, maybe something bad could happen. Emma didn't listen. Manny um, figured out that Emma lied to her and met up with the guy anyways. She got suspicious, went to JT, went to um, Mr. Tech Guy himself, Toby, and they figured out what was going on and they went to the parents and alerted um, them what was going on any friend who does that for me is in my good graces for life okay so i've been hyping manny up a bit y'all know she's my favorite while she is kind-hearted and she's bubbly she's also kind of self-centered a bit it's all In regard to Emma, sometimes Manny made like really bad decisions that only been for her and screwed over Emma. Like, I'm gonna reference this episode again because it's really fucked up. That episode where Emma and Manny go to a rave and Manny leaves Emma at the rave, at the rave where grown folks were, so she can make up with Craig in her bed. In her bed! The disrespect. Today I'm walling! Today I'm bugging and thugging! Not today! And I'm just like, yo, what the hell? And actually, if you look into this episode a little bit deeper, I'm thinking in this whole episode, Manny was trying to help Emma get with Chris, right? And she's trying to turn Emma into her. And yeah, she's trying to show her all these tactics to get Chris. And you know, Emma finds out that Chris has a girlfriend at the rave and she's there at the rave. And then Manny's trying to tell her all this stuff like, it don't matter, they're gonna break up soon anyways. Still try to get with him, like acting all savage and stuff. You wait for the fight to end. Chris is hurt and he needs a shoulder to cry on. There you are. Okay, that's totally evil. It may be evil, but it's effective. I can't do that. It's not right. Yes, it is. And yes, you can. Hold on. Hold up. Wait a minute. 
And I feel like she was doing that to kind of legitimize what she was doing with Craig. Because if Emma's doing it, then, you know, she has kind of like a pass to do it with Craig. I think in her mind, that's what she thought. I think she wanted to hook Emma up with Chris so she can have Craig all to herself in Emma's house. So it's kind of diabolical. And I feel like that's legit. Another thing I thought that was kind of selfish of Manny was when she decided to go after Craig. Even though at first they both had feelings for him. Like, I feel like there, there should have been like a conversation at first before Manny jumped in head first into get trying to get Craig like Emma liked him too like you ain't gonna check up on her to see if it's okay if she's okay with it like we all know that by the time they had their first date Emma was okay with uh Craig and Manny like she was really excited about it but I was like that's kind of shady like you jump in really really fast like not caring about your friend over there so I mentioned earlier how Manny was jealous of Emma and the evidence of that comes in later seasons but I personally feel like Emma had things that Manny wanted like Emma had a better family life compared to Manny. Um, Manny's dad was a very hard man to get along with. Very, you know, traditional. Very much didn't understand his daughter, her dreams, and didn't really take her seriously or respected her dreams. Um, also, I'm thinking that Manny is kind of jealous of Emma's looks because Manny, compared to Emma, she's curvier. You know, and you know, society doesn't really appreciate curvy women like they should. I know y'all gonna talk about Instagram models, but that's like the mainstream form of beauty is thin, um, white, um, blonde, and I feel like that kind of gets demanding sometimes. And if you're a person of color, you know what I'm talking about. Like the way Emma moves throughout the world is gonna be different than Manny does. People will perceive Emma differently compared to Manny based off race, and that kind of gets to you sometimes. So, you know can't be that easy having a friend like Emma so maybe in defense of Manny maybe that's how she's like she kind of spices out sometimes and if you feel any different please comment down below and thanks for watching